Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new game that just came out, Survive the Night. How many nights we survive? This game came out on Thursday. Today is Friday. Uh, the day one release went pretty horrible. Uh, they had a big problem with server connections at first. They do have this beautiful, beautiful warning, which makes them totally immune to any bugs, any mechanics, any uh, server issues, or a reason why this game has been in development for three years. I'm going to be up front and let you know that I'm very uh, disappointed with this game so far. Um, I basically bought a four-pack for me and my buddies, and I have already requested a refund. But you've only played it for an hour or two. How could you request a refund? Okay, I'll get into that. So my uh, problem I had is it's really hard to get it to run at my monitor resolution at 34,000. You know, I have a 3400 by whatever 4K monitor. And uh, it runs okay. The audio is a little on the loud side. I had to adjust the volumes. But the biggest issue I had is with playing. Uh, this game has been out for a few days, and it's on Early Access 04, but the servers are still on version 00. And basically, you can play for a little while and then get kicked out. I've been playing on um, this Dallas server. There's only one person on it. Uh, so this is what happens. The day one, you basically kind of hope you get in the server. The whole first day, you basically couldn't get in. It would just do this. You'd just get loading screen. You would just sit here at the loading screen. This is the loading screen. If it's going to connect, you'll get a little bar in the corner that says connecting now. So you hear my stomach growling, like, so I'm actually connecting. All right, good, to connect it. Uh, the first day, I wasn't connecting. But for people to, pl to put three years of development into this game and for them to come out with this is a little disappointing. So this is how the looting system works. You basically... You can't loot a normal tree. You have to go to, like, a fallen tree. You have to wait for this little, I guess, notepad with information on it. And you have to hold down E. So this is me farming the wood. There's no animations. There's no, you know, no nothing. So after you farm it, you get a little thing at the bottom left in the console saying, hey, you just grabbed it. And it's not tab. Tab tells you the people who are in the server with you. And inventory is I. So it does start you with a little bit of ammo. A wind-up light and an empty bottle which you can fill up with dirty water that you have to basically you know drink and stay alive but you start hungry so you have your backpack notice I have some firewood you can create a few things how to craft a campfire you need stones looks like cl clothing wood and to make a uh, pile and this guide is like so find water make a fire boil water find food cook food it doesn't give you any information how you're gonna have to go and go through the basically the wiki the wiki that they have and figure everything out on your own it makes it really hard to like get started and the nighttime as you can see is you need to use a flashlight so even equipping this stuff is like super hard you have to basically read it's, it's not user friendly it's definitely not user friendly and 30 people per server i don't know it just feels like that's not enough people in a server there's really like right now there's really nothing to do like, I've been playing probably for two hours. I've literally found, like, a little bit of wood, uh, a few cupcakes, and that's it. It's just... It's just a barren map. They have, like, a lot of buildings, but most of the buildings have zombies who basically rape your face. And this is the nighttime, so... I'm hungry. I'm just gonna kind of run, look for, like, a building to, like, loot or something. Because there's really not much in the forest except for wood. See, like, the flashlight should be F for flashlight, but it puts your hands up. T is, a T is to chat. You can have, they have a chat. Also, one thing, if you hit escape again, you basically get kicked out of your game. This is, like, a huge bug, I thought. Like, how could you, if you want to get out of the game, like, you hit escape, like, now, you can't hit escape. Oh, finally, they fixed that. The first day you hit escape, it, it will leave you in that menu. You couldn't get out. I don't know. It just for for people who worked on the game for three years, they didn't they didn't add the type of content I saw in the videos. Like they had shock, they had like you know guns, they had traps. They I was like, oh, this is gonna be a cool game. You'll be able to find a lot of stuff. The problem is the game has no loot. There's like nothing in the world. There's a few buildings that you can go in that have zombies, and I literally have found nothing in them. The only thing you find stuff is like in houses. So I, I understand their whole. Oh, there's a zombie chasing me. So there's a zombie chasing me, and he's hitting me. And 
I can't brawl him, he'll just kill me. So it plays a little ambient music, and the zombies will either chase you forever, or you have to outrun them. They make like a growling sound. I'll show you the zombies in a second. I'm like running uphill, so I'm really slow. I mean, at least in Infestation, they spawned you with a flashlight. Alright, they can stop. No, it's a zombie. That's a zombie. I'm gonna die. You can't brawl on me there, they'll kill you. I'm just gonna die and respawn. So when you die, you respawn, right? <laughs> Respawn doesn't work. Oh, they fixed it. It wasn't working the first day. So you gotta wait to respawn, and this is what happens. You've been disconnected from the server, even though I hit respawn. And then it will reconnect you to the server. And it will reconnect you somewhere in the world. Oh, good game. So again, this is all, I've only been able to really connect to one server. The other time I actually connected, it just disconnects me. This Dallas server has been good to me. So I've just been connected to the same server. I think it's still on night cycle. It's like a timed uh, cycle. They have like day and night cycles. So, Let's see if I get in. I don't think I got in. Oh, this is just day one. They'll fix the servers. Okay. The issue I have with them is they've been, uh, I guess it's been in development for three years, and this is what they come out and they released it on Steam. I understand that they, they just want to get to their backers. They should have only released it on early access. They should have never put it on Steam. When I see them putting it on Steam, I think right away they just want to make money. They just want to get out there and sell their game. And so what I did is I actually emailed them asking for a refund, and they responded to me saying, um, this is an early access game. You need to understand it's, not, it's unfinished. It's like that doesn't give you an excuse to release such a piece of garbage and not expect people to ask for their money back. They posted on the forums that people can request refunds, and I 100% did. This is just a game that I think needs a lot more development. It needs more stuff to do. And, you know, it's it's a it's a turd right now. It's a turd. I don't really under, understand how much polishing this game is going to need. But it's going to need months and months of polishing by a really big development team, not five people living in their mom's basement. So, like I said, it, it doesn't load. This is, you're just going to get this. You're just going to flip here. And then you're going to have to control delete out or right click and uh, close the window. So, yep. So right click, close the window so you can see everything I'm running here. So let's go ahead and uh, launch the game again. Didn't load. Typical. Oh, it's early access. Of course it's not going to load. It's going to be bugs. Well, we're going to game for three years. You would expect it to semi-work. At least be able to connect. I don't understand if I have bugs in game. Or, you know, like, I understand they're not having stuff. But it doesn't have any loot. doesn't really have anything to do. And just putting a banner on this doesn't give you doesn't make you immune to my criticism. I bought the game. I spent my hard-earned money on this game. Hard-earned money. Hard. They should do is do a better job before releasing this. This is just so unfinished. They should have done like a, a closed beta test round or something. They shouldn't have just made it open for the public. Or they should have released it for free. And say, hey, you know, we have a new game. Try it out for free. If you like it, come buy it. But all these companies these days only care about making money. This is like the newest fad, the newest Bitcoin. is, oh, let's, re let's release a game. Make some money off of it and just never update it. Hello, Daisy. How are you doing? All right, so this is like not super nighttime. This is like a field. So they have like they they have like a bunch of fields and rocks. But like it just it just feels they didn't put a lot of time into making this map. I understand it's a large map. But it's it's mostly barren wasteland. 
or like I don't know, barren forest land. I don't know what you call it, not wasteland, but most of the world is like this. It's forest. It's like wilderness or open wilderness. I don't know. So they have water, and then they have no collision right now. So if I jump off the cliff, if I jump in the water, it's like jumping off a cliff. It doesn't matter that the water is there. They do mention that that there's no collision. But like even like you can't pick up like these like little little plants. You can't distinguish which ones you need. And again, you can't harvest normal trees. They have to be fallen trees. I still don't know which rock you need to harvest. You have to just go to the wiki and like learn all this stuff. It just it's not very easy to pick up and say, hey, let's go play Survive the Night and play together. Oh, all right, let's meet our friends. Let's meet up somewhere. You know, stuff like that. It doesn't it doesn't have an in-game map? I mean, just a lot to it. I am I am so far not impressed with this game. I'm gonna recommend anyone who's who's interested in trying it to not. To definitely wait some time and see what development does, if anything, to this game. But I, I see this as a game that's going to fail. And you can mark my words on my video that I'm going to say this game's never going to take off or do anything with it. And I'll stand by that just by from what I see so far. I've seen other early access games have a lot more. And this game is just so far away. I mean, it's literally it's a running simulator. You run around the world. Run around the world. That's it. It's super boring nothing to do oh, but, but it has zombies okay good it has zombies you, you can't it takes like a million punches to kill there's no weapons I, I have no idea where to find guns in this game zero all that i've never seen i've seen a butcher knife so far we've seen a butcher knife a sleeping bag and some cupcakes and wood and water bottles and that's a uh, that actually might be a guy no it's a zombie yeah it's a zombie the way it moves so here's the zo the zombies they spent a long time on. Let's go ahead and show you the zombies before I end this uh, video rant. It's getting dark now. Dang, it's super dark. See, this guy's still on the server with me. It's like too dark to even see anything. So you have like a big fat zombie. <coughs> Wanna see these hands, kid? I don't want none of these hands, see? This is the game. Uh, definitely avoid. Don't buy. Ask for a refund. 100%avoid.com.